Hey there YouTube fans and fans of old antique radios. This is another one from my collection. This is a 1950s model Motorola clock radio. This one's in pretty rough condition. Um, this is one that I received with uh, a lot of several radios from a gentleman in Ohio some years back. This radio is a shrimp pink color. Um, it was kind of common for for radios in the 50s to with plastic cabinets to kind of come out with a shrimp color or a pink color. I guess that's what the, the color is, oyster or whatever it is. Um, this radio is not in working condition. Um, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it yet. I plug it in. Uh, the clock actually works. Um, the motor runs, the, the hands turn, but I cannot get power to the radio, which tells me it's possibly one of these, uh, this might be this control switch here, is not uh, connecting properly and getting power to the chassis because the tubes don't light up, uh, nothing. I've looked at it, I can't find any uh, components that are burned or severed, which would cause it to not get power. Um, so I still need to do a little more investigating on that. Um, if you look closely at the top of this unit, uh, it has some major cracks in it. Um, when I bought it, it had a layer of white latex paint over the top of it, and I think they might have done that just to cover up how ugly it was up there. So I, it took a long time with some nail polish remover, uh, and I had to carefully get all that paint off of there. Um, but there's still some pretty ugly looking cracks in it. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, but it is kind of a, a unique looking uh, radio to put on a shelf uh, with my collection. And on the back here you can see the uh, plastic uh, encasement for the AM radio antenna. It also has a power outlet on the back if you wanted to plug something in to come in or to turn on with the timer, uh, like a coffee pot or something like that. I guess this is one that would typically be in a, in a, uh, a kitchen maybe, or if you had it in your bedroom, you could even plug a lamp into it to turn the lamp on for the alarm uh, when you wanted that to happen. Um, it's got the original back, the original cord. The cord was filthy. It was almost black with dirt and grime. I uh, took this cord and I uh, very carefully scrubbed it with a toothbrush and uh, Dawn dishwashing liquid. And Dawn happens to be my best friend when I'm cleaning up these old knobs and cords and chassis and things. It, it really works well and it's not harsh at all. Uh, there is a little bit of there's a little bit of a, a corner missing off the back here, uh, typical with a plastic encased radio. And if you'd have seen the garage that this came out of, you'd understand um, why it's in such rough shape. But it, it definitely is a keeper. And there you have it. That's my uh, 1950s Motorola shrimp pink clock radio stay tuned i've got uh, lots more coming thanks for watching